You know, the height of wedding season is almost here. So what's trendy in the cake category? I'm here with cake designer Stacy Hill, owner of Truly Custom Cakery in Warminster, Pennsylvania. It's so good to have you here. It's good to be here. I, it smells so good with all the, your amazing you creations. <laughs> I know, sugar, sugar, it's all around me. Um, I want to talk about the, uh, the teapot. Some of these don't even look like a cake. I mean, you are incredible. Oh, thank you. You're awesome. It's amazing what you can do <laughs> with cake these days. No, what you can do. Oh. <laughs> so can we start with the teapot? Because I think this one is amazing. Yeah, the teapot is an example of a bridal shower cake. Um, the inside is all cake. It's all edible. And uh, a lot of uh, bridal showers these days and stuff, it's kind of trendy to, you know, go have tea. And they'll have an afternoon tea bridal shower. And uh, you, you could do cupcakes with it or something for all of your guests. And it's a beautiful display. And it's something fun and, you know, different. Oh, it's, it's incredible. I mean, just the detail that you, that you do is unbelievable. And this one is more like a, a groom's or a guy's sports cake? Yeah, it's a groom's cake. Groom's cakes are more of a southern tradition. And they're working their way up. And they're becoming increasingly popular. We do a lot of groom's cakes. Um, guys are very into sports, obviously. Uh, so this is a sports themed groom cake, groom's cake and they're served either at the rehearsal dinner maybe the night before or side by side the wedding cake because often wedding cakes are more glamorous, frilly, pretty, they're girly things. Yeah. And this is something for the guy because so much about the wedding is for the woman and she wants to give something special to her special guy and that's I love about that him. The, the, the flyers colors and the hockey puck. Yeah, you know, you gotta, nice. with copyrights, you gotta work it in there somehow. <laughs> And I, this, this wedding cake is amazing. And tell me the story, um, Stacy, of the lace that this is, so you could match somebody's wedding lace. Yeah, um, you know, buttercream cakes of old were, were great and they're beautiful, but with fondant, and there's so much you can do. And so we get a lot more creative these days. So um, I actually still have my wedding dress from my wedding 14 years ago. And um, we, I just took a silicone and made a mold of the lace that was on my dress. I like the way you say, oh, I just took some silicone and made a mold. I mean, like, <laughs> as if anybody does that, could, right? Yeah, yeah, everybody right. does that. So I made a mold of the lace for my wedding dress, and then, you know, we cut out around it and used it to create sort of a vintage look for this wedding cake. And then uh, I think the neat thing with that is, you know, it could be from your dress, but, you know, it's always um, something borrowed, some, you know, something yeah. old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. What about using your mother's? If your mother still has her dress or your grandmother, what about taking some lace from one of their dresses and doing that, and then you have you're something old and something oh. borrowed, but in, in, in a very, you know, oh, it's way. Amazing. you can it's really bring beautiful. them into it. It's yeah. stunning. And this is sort of a cupcake cake idea, which I love. Yeah. This could oh, be they're any, huge these days. This is, and this could be a wedding. It could be anything. It could yeah, be any we holiday do them celebration. For, right? We do cupcake towers for mitzvahs, baby showers, bridal showers, birthdays, you know, weddings, anything. And, and they're fun. It, it helps people out, especially with serving. Yeah, absolutely. It's all, oh, we're showing this amazing. All right, we're showing the cupcakes. And what, what flavor were they again? Just pound to, cake. Just because I want to make everybody hungry. We have hungry. a really yummy oh buttery gosh. pound cake. And you took all the calories and fat out, too. Absolutely. So this one is, you make this. So at first, I thought this was a cake topper. You created, and you can create the bride and groom. Yes. Oh, yes. my goodness. Again, you couldn't do it with icing, but you can do it with fondant. So sugar paste has really added a lot to the world of cake decorating. And this is back in. It back, it, for a while, it was out. Now it's back in to have it's, the It's really, cake yeah, it's getting really big. We do a lot of, like, bride and groom toppers and stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. Uh, oh, it's, my goodness. You know, you're not buying a plastic topper. Yeah. You're, it's, it's you, and it's you can keep made. it. Yes. And it, so that would save. So you wouldn't want to. Yes. You know, maybe you years later, it. you'd want to bite your husband's head off. But if you, you really say, wanted to, <laughs> more power to you. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the neat thing. You can put it in the curio and save it forever. Yes, you can. As long as it's away from humidity and direct sunlight, they will last indefinitely. Unbelievable. Now, you uh, have won a, a pretty prestigious honor two years in a row of a huge cake competition. Yes. This is, oh my goodness, we have to show the circus cake. This is out of this world. Stacy. how did you get this inspiration? Um, this I, is all cake. This is all, I mean, unbelievable. Yeah, well, the theme, uh, every year City of Hope hosts this cake competition to benefit uh, cancer research and, and diabetes and HIV and stuff. And so all the proceeds go toward the cause. And they host the cake competition Which last year. Which is an amazing theme. nonprofit. We it love, is we love an City amazing nonprofit. It is. Uh, last year's theme was under the big top. And so I really wanted to... Um, to go under the big top. So we <laughs> sort of did a, a larger version of what you would see under the big top, and then we did the big top itself with what goes on inside. Oh, look at this detail. So how long does this take you to make? That one actually, it took two of us about two weeks in between filling cake orders. 
So oh my surprisingly not, I mean, it was a long hours. They were very long days, but not as long as you might think. This is incredible. And you started out in graphic design, which I, I love. So, because I knew that you just didn't bake your entire life. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I did start out in graphic design and it's just kind of carried right over because it, it's still art. Oh my gosh. And tell me about the competition a little bit. Uh, it's on April 15th this year and the theme is at the movies. Okay. And so we are planning our movie theme cake to compete again this year. And um, we can't wait to see it. And I just want to point out City of Hope's website and the phone number there. Um, so, you, you know, if anybody wants to go to the event, it's a wonderful nonprofit. It it's is, and it's so much cause. fun. You get a lot of cake. You got a cake. So much cake. <laughs> <laughs> you get a, it's so a it's important to night. indulge. <laughs> it is important to indulge. It's a good night. It's a, a lot of fun. So, um, in a minute, we're going to take a taste. Yes. I can't wait to taste your your good stuff. This is uh, this is amazing. Um, I love I love cake. Let them eat cake. <laughs> All right, stay right there. We're going to try some stuff. We'll be right back. Back with award-winning cake designer. Stacy Hill, got my fork, Stace. I can't wait to taste uh, your, now these are some of your signature flavors because yes. a lot of people just have chocolate or vanilla cake, but not you. No, we like to have a little fun with it. Oh my gosh, so what is this one right here? That's blueberry pound cake with lemon curd filling. Can you see that? Let me taste that. Mm. Wow. You see on me. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. It's so moist. This is amazing. I'm so impolite to eat in front of everyone, but. And what's this one here? That's our deep chocolate cake with fresh raspberry mousse filling. Oh my gosh. Mmm, am I cruel or what, <laughs> right? And when you eat on TV, the calories don't count, so that's there the you best go. part. And then what's this one? That's banana spice chocolate chip with a whipped chocolate ganache filling and our chocolate butter cream. Oh, to die for. Wow, you're good. And you went for the top corner of each one, so you like icing. I do like that. <laughs> I, I do like the icing. I need like a cigarette after your cake. You know what I mean? Oh my goodness, Stacy. What you know what I forgot to say? The City of Hope event, which is for such a great cause. I should have mentioned the champagne, the dancing. I mean, it's such a fun event. It Everybody is. who's anybody in, on the East Coast is at this event. Yes, it so, is a lot of fun. So, and of course, all the cake you can eat. And here's here's the info. April fifteenth. Uh, cityofhope.org slash cake. You've got the number. Stacy, you are awesome. Oh, thank you. Thanks thank so much you for having so me. Thank you so much. Honey, thank anytime. You. <laughs> Let's eat cake. Let's <laughs> Good night. <eat> <laughs>